Good. Good, Jake. Yeah, it's good because it's like pitch black outside, <laughs> which is making it feel a lot later than it really is. <laughs> okay, so here's a question: How many of you got the email and know what we're talking about today? Is this a severable question? A severable? Yeah, like I got the email. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yes, we can, we can parse it out for you. If you like. <laughs> Uh, tonight we're going to review reductions, and we've done this before, so some of you have been coming for a long time, might have already encountered many of these patterns we're going to look at tonight, but you guys are grimacing, so I'm going to assume that you know nothing. That's a good assumption. Oh, it's a good assumption. Repetition. <laughs> uh, so, so, we have a situation here. We're, we'll start with the board position, then we'll break it down to individual patterns. So we'll start with the global and then go smaller and smaller is my, is my goal here. Uh, what can you tell me about this game? What's going on in this board? Opening. It still looks very opening. Why is it still the opening? No invasion. There's been no invasions, right? And I mean like none, right? This is like just black and then white, mm -hmm. right? No invasions, very, very just wide open kind of game. So who's winning? Black. Black. Black, why black? Black's, Black's, move. Black's, Black's move. Black's move, of course. Black's winning. <laughs> Black's got a lot more fourth line, whereas White's a lot of third line if you're actually looking at territory. Yeah, it actually it feels like Black Black's Moyo has better potential. You know, even more than the six and a half Komi points that Black would have to pay, right? If you look at all these stones on the fourth line, uh, that's a very big development. White has, you know, a lot of development, but third line, third line, third line, third line. Right? It's much more defensive kind of development. It's not, it's not as optimistic of development. So in this type of position, which of these two players is more likely to invade the other one? White. White, white is likely to invade black, or black is likely to invade white? White is likely to invade black. So why? Because black has bigger potential. White, black has bigger black potential, right? Better. So white will need to invade first. So what does that mean if you're black? It's your move. Should you go, should you go ahead and invade? Well, that will, that will keep White busy for a few moves. <laughs> oh, okay, but once you invade, right, you're basically saying, you know, unless you can read out a sequence where you can live in Sente, which does exist, that's the thing, if you are going to go invade into your opponent's domain, you're basically saying, you know what, I want you to control the next, you know, 20 to 30 moves of this game. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's, that's realistically what happens, right? So I'm going to go invade you, I'm going to break, I'm going to destroy some of your points, you get to play the next 20 moves in the direction you want. So, there's an alternative to invading. What else could we do? We could reduce. We could reduce, right? Maybe if we just kept white small enough, uh, maybe we, we are, with our reduction point, we can get a foothold for a future invasion, maybe some safe stones so we can invade deeper later on. Maybe we can build some outside influence and actually build the center, like Takamiya style. Uh, maybe we can you know, keep all of our stones, stones safe so our opponent can't counterattack us and can't control the next 20 or 30 moves of play. <clears throat> Wouldn't all those things sound really, really nice to do? Mm -hmm. So how do you want to do it? There's actually at least two good reduction moves on this, in this current game. The corner, 3-3? Three, three. So this would be an invasion mark. Oh, you want a reduction, right? And this is totally playable. We could play this. There's nothing wrong with this. But I think the problem is that white knows, you know, already has a plan for this, right? Mm -hmm. White will block this way. And maybe even take a sente variation like this. You know, and if we have to come back and live like this, then maybe white will invade us here. Or maybe even white will actually play, say, you know what, these points, you can have those points. I'm going to build the middle now. Maybe. Probably the invasion. So we could. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. I want, a, I want a better sequence. I want a sequence that's going to make my opponent, you know, ask himself or herself a lot of really soul-defining questions. 16, 16 9? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We will play black or white. <laughs> black or white? Black, yeah. 5 5. Yeah, let me take that. 5 5. five. five. A shoulder hit? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 
No. <laughs> Run along with there are three, three. All right. This looks like a good reduction, okay? Right? This looks like a good reduction. Mm -hmm. Why is it not? Why am I telling you right now, do not play this? Well, you six, six, six. Well, I heard a lot of good answers, I think. How many people play 6-6? Six, six? <laughs> <laughs> that will teach you uh, <laughs> Possible. <laughs> Does it work? Right. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, Probably not the easiest variation to play out. If we're a little bit stronger, though, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe if we have, if we already have a move up here and, you know, Tengen. Yeah, maybe. You only need Tengen, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Still, there's a simpler way to tell us about it. Just go along the fourth line. Yeah, which way? Uh, uh, down, probably. Yeah, I'd go down. Yeah. I think either way is playable. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not sure which way is better. More points is down. You got more room? That one looks like it'd be fine, but more room. Um, this one, that one. So it depends on which way we want to chase black, is sort of what makes our decision. And since we're chasing black into both third line stones, it's not a huge difference. Um, this one is a bit closer. I guess that way, but either way. Either way. Still, like, works. That one, three, three, maybe still, so. well, even, even this shape is actually very nice for white, right? This yeah. is a basically a solid corner. Mm -hmm. black, black has basically said, I don't want you to get points here. And in exchange, white will get a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically at least a 21 point corner with this one move. Whereas, if we just play this move, the three, three point, white gets no corner. So, and we get eight points in that corner. So this, this, you know, not a good reduction. Why is it not a good reduction? It's just too high. It's too high, okay? And this is the difference. What do we say about black at the start of this lecture? Why is black more likely to be invaded? It's, it's more fourth line. There's more potential there. So white will need to, will have more of an incentive to break it up. Whereas if you're on the third line, it's a little bit harder to break it up, right? You can't make a base as easily. You can't live on the inside as easily. So we're much more likely to reduce third line stones. And if we try to reduce a fourth line stone, just push it from the outside, that's probably giving our opponent too many points. So usually we don't see this type of move. Very, very, very rare. Special case only, and when I say special case only, that basically means you're not allowed to play it unless you're professional. <laughs> or at least Don level. So, other ideas? Four, six. Bottom left. Yeah, six, four, four, six, whichever one you want to call it. Four, so, I don't, so what's, what's your idea in the bottom left? Um, three, four, three, three. Uh, here, here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, possible. And I would say this is actually very similar to this one. But I want to ask some questions first. Because, and here, here's the thing, I could either invade here, or I can invade here, right? How do you know which one to take? You asked for reduction, not invasion. It's also true. That's also true, but, but, but you guys are also identifying these are really big moves, mm -hmm. right? How do I know which one to take? Which is bigger? Which does he want more? No. We, which one does he want more? I ask? think the bottom. Yeah, well, let's one, ask a question. Because it's an extension. Seems like the upper left corner has for white has only one stone there, so maybe it's a little bit more open, a little bit thinner. Well, but this one works too because you have a stone there. Yes. Yeah, well, so I, they both I, work. So as far as the analysis, the, the bottom corner whites there more. Of course, the opposite, like you said, is whites there too. So maybe it works out even almost. Black they're pretty. To, they're pretty similar, actually. Yeah, because I mean, black can try to come in on the second line, slide, slide underneath. But okay. But how do I know which one white wants? Ask him first. Let's ask a question. What is the question we want to ask white? We have four, four six. <laughs> four six. six. This move. So, this five, one. Ten. Something like the the one below. Five it. ten. This is a nice reduction. Move. Yeah. And this actually asks a question. What question does it ask? Which side is more important to you? Yeah, which side is more important to you, White? <laughs> if White says, well, uh, I kind of want these as points, yeah. guess where you're going to invade? North. No, here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he said he I just said that's more important. Oh, okay. You don't give them. That's right. <laughs> you know, we, we could do this now. 
But it's not very ur urgent because we already have a stone here reducing it. If white builds a wall here now, right, it's, there, there's no points here anyway, right? Or if white, if white tries to, you know, turn this into points, we already have it reduced. So it's not like white can make that many points quickly. So when white says, I want this, you go, great, we're taking it. I was, I was trying to figure something like out. And your last white move up there. So black. No, 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 black. Yeah, black. No, 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 no. I can take the black one. That one. Okay. When you put black on the five nine, the five ten there. Yeah. Okay. And then you respond with white. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering, does white really face loss? of that whole corner and those two stones? If sure. Doesn't play well, that. well, so what do you want? Let's say you want to go do something like this. Or, or maybe he plays at the upper half there on the side. Yeah, I, so suppose why it does that. Now, okay. how much threat is this? What do you want to play next? On the fourth, come up the fourth one. You want to attack? Yeah. Okay, and then you start coming out. Do you want to cut or come out? That or one or the other side. But it seems to be like, now you're making a wall, you get some territory, and you haven't lost any from white's perspective. Well, actually, actually black, white's black should have attached on this side, sorry, because oh. you defended that side. So you said you wanted this, so black should have played here, sorry. But still is the same, yes? Yeah. Black still. You play there? Yeah, yeah. Black attaches here. Yeah, okay. You want to push out? Yeah. I'll follow. Yeah, yeah right, right, okay. This is already bad shape for white, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Black already has hit the head of two stones. White plays here. Do you want to cut? Yeah, I haven't decided. You haven't decided. Okay. Well, this, this is the most severe move, right? If you do this, yeah. this is already a major victory for black. Oh, okay. Why? Uh, because this was all white's territory. And oh. after black plays basically any other move here, uh, black is more or less safe, and white has no points in the biggest, previously biggest area of potential on his board. So basically, black is in good, and yeah, even if we just play here, yeah, right. But I think point, I think we should play here. Actually, I think that's the best. Point. But at that point, black could say, "Okay, fine, take your territory, white." I got you on the other side. Yeah, this is this is not a problem. You know, if white wants to cut here, yeah. white's gonna have a hard time uh, yeah. defending here. You block. <laughs> It is getting a little cramped. Black has a choice, right? Black can now just destroy this and attack this. Even if black just connects, there's still these cuts. How do you defend? It's all terrible. You know, we can come under here. We can do all sorts of things. Maybe just poke here, come here. We can just make an ice group live here. Later on, come back here and try this. If white connects, that's even worse. Why not take the double atar? Uh, there, yeah. Yeah, you'll probably find it. I was just reading out the variation where you, oh, okay. <laughs> white can't really connect anyway. <laughs> you can capture yeah, them all. But, yeah. <laughs> but sure, yes, double Atari is good. <laughs> good job. <laughs> but anyway, white shape is bad. All right, this stone is actually. Uh, so the original stone. starting position here. That stone in the middle is actually kind of weak on both sides. What? Yeah, black black can go either way. And so if you say, I want this, well, sure, black can attach over here and do something mean and nasty to you. Or, you know, black could say, you know what, that's great. You want this? I can use this as a, as a foothold for an invasion now. And so maybe I come and attack this. And now I already have a friend in the neighborhood. There's a lot of things that this stone can do. So... We know what happens if white plays here, right? What does black do? Invade the corner. Yeah, so white says, I want this, black just invades. Okay. What if white says this? Invade the corner. Yeah, invade this corner. <laughs> so, so I, I have just a little resistance to this idea of playing on the same side where white is just reinforced. Because it feels like you're following him around? Well, not so much that, I mean, partly that, but more like if he's reinforced it, wouldn't the other side be weaker? But, it, but it's still going to be available later. It's still, yeah, there's, this is, the, the difference 
oh, is that you? this side is open on two sides. Yeah, yeah. I so it's like Mii, right? Yeah. If, wh if white actually can't defend this now, if white takes this, you can reduce this way. If white blocks here, you reduce this way. Yeah. So this is the side that's not Mii, right? Now there's only one really good key point in here. If white gets another move, let's say here, there's nothing there now, right? So you still have two swings at the lower corner, but you only got one now. That's right. So it's so it's a priority thing. And that's that's I know it's a little bit counterintuitive because in Go so often they're like, okay, you get this, that means I get this, right? You play over here, I go over here. But this isn't this doesn't quite work that way, right? This is a you know this you know, this idea of like probing or asking a question with a move is very difficult for Q players. Like this is something that makes Q players Q players because they don't know what to do here. That's right. All right. I don't know why they're playing this now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so when black plays here, there are some Joseckis. You, you guys know corner Joseckis, right? Hopefully you all know at least one. Maybe even two. Well, there are reduction Joseckis that I also want you to know. And you should know, because they happen all the time. So what was one that I just kind of showed you? Yeah, a very common response to this is for white to play the knight's move. And this is a very strong response. What does black do here? Black really only has two options. There could be, a, actually, it depends on the ladder. Maybe, all right, let's say there's at least three options that are normal. Fourth option, Tanuki. This is, one of, this is actually what I call option three. This is one of the more dangerous ones. <laughs> like, you need the ladder immediately, right? Good for danger. Actually, you need the ladder are some of the hard ones, too. Um, because if you don't have the ladder, white can do this to you. And so if you have the ladder, no problem. But there's a... Well, white gets an extra move, black should have an extra move. But White played this when before you know you didn't you didn't know this was going to be the ladder breaker for your production. So la ladders are, are ladders are important, especially in these Josekis involving knights moves. Just remember that the ladder is important. But this is this is one of the things you can do. And this sort of just you know it's like tiptoeing your uh, your or putting your toe into the water and testing the temperature, just sort of gliding into the pool here. Uh, the more severe thing to do is to jump into the pool. And this is more normal. This, you know, knight's move, you have the stone here, attach here. And the reason why this is good is that if white cuts this way, uh, you already have, it's like, it's like a cross cut, and you've already extended from it. Right, so you can actually fight here. And you'll get something. Um, and there's actually a number of variations that can come, come out from this. If white does something like this, no problem. You go and break that up. White takes. Does white want to fight a co for basically destroying the entire side? Usually the answer is no, but you know, who knows? And then you can come out, connect, do all sorts of things depending on what the outside situation is. The other move that is perhaps even, well, less severe in some ways, but more severe in others, is the move that the Q players love to play. Which is this one. All right, you guys all like to do this. And the key move for black in order to get liberties and make shape is to Hane here. And this will keep white weak enough so that you have time to make a base or make eyes, attack something else, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Because even if white blocks, it looks like that's a good shape for white. But black just connects. And black still doesn't really have anything to worry about. Because if white you know, tries to get more uh, strength here, uh, black can actually just throw a stone in here. And if white wants to run out, white can try. We keep running white. Threatening Atari. If you do this, you can play another one. Right, that's threatening to capture. Black can come back and kill those stones. I mean, there, you can fight here as black. And 
It's much better, of course, for white is to give up the stone. But of course, that makes you alive. All right. So if you throw, if you need to throw a stone in here, you can always throw a stone in here. If white says, "Yep, yep, I'm going to give up that one stone," <laughs> ta-da! Black's alive. And white still has actually a pretty nasty cut here. Because later on, if white goes and tries other things. These stones are still weak. So your, re your reduction actually would have turned into an invasion at that point. Okay? But you have to have, be willing to fight. You have to be willing to uh, allow yourself to be cut just a little bit to find a more severe move. All right, so how did that happen? Let's review the pattern. What does black do? If white... What is white's most common response to this? White plays this one. What's black's most severe local continuation? Nice move. Most severe. Okay. Attach. Okay. Yeah, this is the like dipping the toe in the water variation. Usually a little bit less severe. This is more severe, right? This is jumping in the pool. And. What should white do here? If white doesn't want to have this giant area just wiped out, if white has a ladder, white can play here. This is a valid variation, but only if white has a ladder. Once again, uh, most normal is actually here. And this this stone is not weak. It has tons of liberties, has space to run. You kind of have to respect it a little bit. So, what does black do? Oh, so. <laughs> Whose territory was this going to be? White's. White's. Which means this is white's room, right? Black's room, white's room. If you're going over to your opponent's room, you can make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to clean it up. <laughs> you're just looking for free stuff to grab on your way out. It's <laughs> really all you're looking for. Your original mission was to build strength in the center, and reduce white. And so this is actually a really good way to do that. If white plays here, you guys want to take some free stuff? Yeah. Tari, which one? Wait, there's, there's no less than three Ataris I can make right now. <laughs> Uh, I have Atari here, Atari here, and Atari here. No, no. The first last one. one last, no, the last one. Oh. Last Atari. <laughs> That's the first one. Oh, wait. If, if I can cut this group off in a meaningful way and attack it, then, yeah, this is a very powerful move. But chances are it's actually not going to go very well for me. White's actually strong enough, and I'm, I, white will get, can get free moves over here. The nor most normal continuation is here. What does white do? Take or connect? <laughs> They're both playable, depends on the situation. If we connect, what does black do now? Third. Yeah, you get another Atari. Now, if white takes, you can now play a shape move. Even that would be sufficient. Mm -hmm. well, we could play any of these. We could even maybe do something like attaching. It's kind of cool here for shape. Uh, or maybe we play another pro move and see what, what kind of shape white wants to make, and then we make our move. You know, that's totally possible too. <clears throat> you know, if white blocks this way, uh, I don't know. That looks good. Actually, that looks better in this case. Ah, I don't know. But basically, you can make a shape. Now, how do these two stones feel? Surrounded. They kind of feel like they need a little bit of help. But then guess what? <laughs> um, of course, you don't need to play this attachment right away. Right? When white plays here, you can do this immediately. Right? You don't actually have to play this out. Okay. Uh, so we looked at this. We looked at this, we looked at this. Black could also play here. This is more rare. I'm not going to encourage you to do this as much. 
But in some situations, when you really are building the middle, this is actually a really appropriate move. And the cool thing about this is, is normally, it'll encourage white to play here, which is fourth line territory. <clears throat> but we still can play here. So we can still do that. And this stone actually can help the shape a little bit. Because if we do this sort of thing again, this is kind of cool. Instead of taking this Atari, we can take this Atari. And if white takes, now we get another free Atari. If white extends, we get another free Atari. And if white comes out again, we can get another free Atari. Oops. And so we can actually use this stone to protect our cutting point when we slice back through. But this is a little more rare. This is a special case. And you know all you want is to keep the outside strong. Would the white, uh, would, go back, uh, would white maybe come on top? Like this? Yeah. Yeah, this is also a dress like you move. Oh, white okay. can also play. I could probably find it. You can. In Fujisawa Shuko's uh, reducing territorial frameworks, he goes, he goes over this move. Yeah, okay. Uh, but it is a fighting move. Um, but black should not be scared. Not be scared. Not be scared. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but again, like I'm saying, I sh I'm not really trying to encourage you to play this anyway. I'm just saying it's possible. When you, when you see this shape, there should be three follow-ups in your mind for black. Here, here, or here. And the one that you see most often is here. Okay? Alright, when white plays this type of reduction, what else can white do to defend? Attached to black, like this. No, the side. <laughs> like this? <laughs> That's closer. Like this or like this? I, the other one. Or this one. I, I don't know which one. Upper. Sure, white, this is absolutely a move. White says, I want this. Yes. And uh, I definitely don't want you to have sente. I don't want you to feel like you can tanuki now and take my corner. So I'm going to play a more severe move. Or I'm going to attach, right? White does this, white knows black's going to do this. So I says, no, I want to do this, so if you do this, I'm going to actually eat this stone. Okay, so black plays here. Uh, most common is for actually white to draw back. Believe it or not. White can do this, yes. but it'll give black more free loops. So it may not actually, if white plays this to get sente, right? So it sort of defeats the point if you're just giving your opponent more free moves. But if white plays here, black can just connect. And if white wants to take the corner, uh, that's okay. Black can say, do you really want these points? Yes, I do. Black can say, do you really want these points? You still have this attachment. The same shape comes up again. That same attachment to the original stone. So this is another pattern. Attach, Hane, pull back, connect, also very common. However, even though it looks like white got a lot more points in this variation, what did black get more in this variation than the other one? Yeah, yeah, this is way stronger now, right? And so if you're playing black and you know you want to play a reduction, you want to build something in the middle, that's really cool, right? That can be really useful. So even though white got more points, you have more influence, so it's kind of fair. Uh, I want to show you this one. Now, uh, Shuko Fujisawa, in his book, he hates this move. He basically calls you a really terrible name if you play this move as white. <laughs> he, thinks, he thinks this is the most vulgar <laughs> Go style Thanks. in existence, and you aren't fit to play Go. <laughs> But it's a legitimate move. Like, it actually does kind of work, you know? It's not... <laughs> it, do, it does do something. So what do you do here is black? Extend up one. Yeah, extend. Oh. This isn't there yet. Okay. Uh, and white, most normal continuation here. Oh, what's black's next move? What's one? Hmm? How about one more? It's looking good. Well, this is pushing white on the fourth line. 
Well, if I can this, pick this, up a whole lot of center. <laughs> okay, but I don't. But now White's shape here is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's Whereas if yeah. these two moves aren't here yet, later on a move like here or here actually make White kind of sad. Okay, so you want because you have a defect you can push and cut. Basically, you don't want to just be grabbing territory. You want to make it a possibility of his future fight. Yeah, you don't. You don't want to define the shape so much that yeah. that you know you can't do something later. Kemokum? What is it? Kemokum goes to? Like here? Something like that, yeah. This is very similar to the yeah. two. Oh, the, the other side. Something like that. That one. Yeah. Mm. Let's come this side. And white can sort of play here, but not really that well. Because what's going to happen if white tries to defend this way? Drop down another two. Well, first of all, there's this sort of problem. It's not very, it's not, it's white won't, black won't play it right now. But what black could push through and reduce further later on. Um, but probably even better, in this case, black can extend again. Do you really want this? White says, yes, I really want this. And remember this move? <laughs> so, you know, black's wall's pretty good. It still has areas to invade up here. It can still invade. Um, you know, this is, this is basically all white wants is fourth line territory. If all I want is fourth line territory, I want nothing else, you can play this move. You will give your opponent a big wall, sente, and basically the ability to, you know, go in either direction, right? You, basically, you decide nothing is white. When you play here, black can go this way, black can go this way. Probably shouldn't tanuki yet. Should probably play one of these first, at least. Oh, you want that? Okay, neat. Okay. You extend up first because that's what most space is, or would it be? Um, uh, I don't. I don't really know which one I would play. That's going to end up looking very similar to either example. Yeah, it's really just one line of difference. But yeah, I don't know which one I would play. But either either one is either one is like you know <laughs> at least eighty to ninety percent of the way there. <clears throat> So anyway, Fujisawa, again, he's a player, he's you know, a famous Japanese nine-don pro player who really liked outside thickness and really liked solid positions and, you know, oh, you want to come invade me now? Now I attack you for the next 60 moves on the board, right? Because I have all these other outside reduction moves already in place. So for him, yeah, he's like, white's an idiot. <laughs> That's his feeling. But at the same time, this does give white fourth-line territory. So you do see it from time to time. If that's all white wants, and again, that's, that's a loaded statement. Understand that. That's all white wants. You, know, you can get it that way. Okay. So with these, this is, again, we're going to look over two types of, types of Josekis today for reductions. The first is this uh, one space approach. What are the common responses for whites? Nice. Good. Good. I don't know what you call it. The thrust. <laughs> the thrust. Okay, I'm going to change the situation just a tiny bit. I'm going to add a stone here. Maybe even stone there. And uh, here we'll give white. We'll give white a. Yeah, we'll give white. That. Okay. So now black plays here. What do you choose now? As white? Yeah. Your knight's move to the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I'm going to say not good enough. Yeah. Attach, below the Attach this way? Yeah. Not good enough. Oh, there's one other Joseki I didn't show you. Instead of pulling this back, this way back, black can also actually play a little mini avalanche kind of style of variation here. And again, just make a mess, you know, find shape, get a, some free moves, see if you can find an eye. There's this, this is a lot easier with the ladder variation too, though, or with the ladder first. You want to push black into the wall. You do? How do you do that? Just check the other side. So... Came this way? Yeah. We can do better. Or attach. We can do better. Center. Mm -hmm. Huh. This is a move. Oh. That's 
really impressive. <laughs> this is a move. Mm -hmm. And this is a move as well. And this is a move as well. Okay. Sometimes your opponent invades or reduces too deep, where their reduction is actually an invasion. And so what do you do when your opponent invades? Well, kill it or <laughs> at least, you know, swallow it. Mm -hmm. Good board. Right? And well, actually, you know, we, white looks strong enough in this case that even though black has these types of moves, if, as long as we keep our stones strong, it's going to be really difficult for white, for black to actually make good shape here. So, for instance, why don't you just play here? Black says, all right, I'm going to run that way. And white goes, that's great. Have fun with that. Well, in my cuteness, I keep thinking that uh, there's potential either way there. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, isn't black getting a good lead on maybe making a base? In that their sure, square? sure. <clears throat> Absolutely. But in the meantime... When black decided to reduce, that means black wants to limit white's points, and what does black want to gain for himself? Influence. Influence. When you play a move like this, what are you completely denying to black? Influence. Influence, right. You're taking away the thing that black initially wanted. Conversion to invasion. That's right. So, you know, sometimes, you know, just because I'm showing you these, these patterns, these trosekis, doesn't mean you always have to follow them. Right? Sometimes, you know, a reduction really is too deep. And you can't treat it with the normal, like, oh, I, black will get the outside, I'll get the inside. No, that's dumb. You have to attack. Uh, this actually happens a lot when, let's say, like, white actually has a weak group over here. So you can actually respond to the reduction while helping your weak group. That's actually a very cool type of move. Also possible. But you will suffer a little bit, right? Black will have a little bit more free reign down here, of course. Right? You can't expect to get any points here, but you know, you'll be able to help while defending against the invasion. Okay? So this is all about the one space jump. So how, how should black reduce in this case? Or should right here? black just like... Uh, so I like would that? probably invade. <laughs> I would, look, I would look for an invasion at this point. And it would have to be something, like this is a really dangerous invasion. Yeah. But maybe, yeah, maybe you do find a way to reduce first. I mean, maybe instead of going one space, maybe you can get away with two spaces away. Um, the general idea is you take the, the strongest white stones, right, and you sort of form the sector line between them. And so in theory, you can play a stone on this line and be completely safe anywhere along this line. Well, yeah, sometimes you, want, you need to ask for more. If, you're, you know, if, you're, if it's not enough points, you need to ask for a little bit more. Yeah, that's a party. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take these stones off. Uh, I guess this was here. That was there. Uh, let's talk about... Let's switch some stones around, I guess. Let's take these off. Let's put a black move over here. Let's put a white move over here. Sure, that's close enough to what I want to do. All right, let's say uh, black wants to, yeah, like that, uh, reduce this stone. Now, you still could play this. But uh, here, let's change that around a little bit. Let's say, yeah, okay, I like that one. Like you could still play here, right? I'm just gonna keep adding stones to him <laughs> so I get the situation to work the way I want it to. But wouldn't it be nice if we could like this is this is still pretty big, even if white is placed here, like. You know, maybe 
are not really happy with giving all that to white. Maybe. It can happen, right? So we need to find a different reduction move. What's another type of reduction move? Shoulder. The shoulder hit. Absolutely. And so what are white's responses? What can white do? Go. Go to the fourth row. Go here. That's yeah. one way. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> So sad. Now this, this does get played quite a bit. This is a Joseki. Um, you know, just, just if you, again, if you read Reducing Territorial Frameworks by Fuji Sawashuko, he hates this move. <laughs> totally not his style. Pains him so much when he does end up deciding to play it. Okay, hates it. But it is, it is a very common played move. It is a good move, but it certainly, you know, grinds against his style. But it's playable. What does Black do here? Seems like running ahead of those white stones to build him a nice wall. Yes. Yeah, and at this point, black white can play here and link up, or possibly come back and make shape this way. Or if you if the if you if there's some odd here or something, there are moves of, of like this, or you could push again. But it's really really sad, you know, when you have to do this, because if this if this is the resulting shape, this is actually one great for black. And even though these three stones can be attacked, they're still kind of white. Which is the weird thing. <coughs> Why are they light? White was going to get this anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So later on, if I decide to trade these back, it's not. White was already going to get that. So it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, and furthermore, they actually have a lot of liberties now. They're actually hard to attack. So it's going to take white a lot of moves to actually surround these. So the problem when you play this move is that basically your opponent will just continue to reduce often in some time. So it's playable, sometimes you need to play it, especially if you're just going to push once and then come back here and make a shape move. You know, like that's not that uncommon. But I would say maybe, well actually no, it's probably 50-50 actually. Instead of this move, what does white play the other half of the time? Yeah, yep, right there. What does black do? Same kind of thing. Same kind of thing? Yeah, run the Black could also do this. This is also possible. If you need to be a little bit faster and make sure you want sente, black can play this way. Uh, white here. Most book move for white. You know what white plays? It's a little dangerous. This is uh, kind of weak. And there's a ladder now, and you guys are all Q players. I don't expect you to get this move because it's not how you think. Turn. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> exactly. What? <laughs> what? Why this move? It keeps black from going any further. It will link up. It will keep this strong, like this won't be attacked. And again, normally, normally, you know, white doesn't have so many strong stones here when you play this variation. Uh, and so, keeping yourself with a base or a way to link up is really important. This is a little bit over concentrated, though. In this, in this, in this board, it's a bad joseki. Okay, but this is the most common joseki move, and black should turn here. And realistically, white can't really attack this yet. White needs actually a lot more stones on the outside to attack. Because if white tries, it's just like, uh, well, I'm going to lean on here first. If white says you can't lean on me, I'm going to come out. It's like, where, what is this white stone doing? <laughs> okay. So, uh, officially, and black played the last move, which means... White will have sente, which is good. If this is still the biggest area, white can play here to actually take it. And basically minimize the reduction to these about, oh, eight points. Not bad. 
mean, it turns unsure territory into solid territory. So sometimes it's this thing, what you need to do. You know, other times you just take your centane and go do your thing. Okay? All right, so I'll show you uh, one other major variation line, and we'll just review these, and then we'll get to play some go. White plays here, push it up. Black can also play here. Uh, this is a little bit more flexible, but you're basically conceding that black isn't really that interested in trying to take away these points later. <coughs> what does white do here? Same thing. Same thing. Let's play here. That's a little submissive, actually. Okay. Because now, now black doesn't feel compelled to fix it all, right? The stone is under no pressure. And so in this example, black will take sente. Right? In the last example, who ended with sente? White. White. Mm, cool. Came okay, this way, put more pressure. Something. Mm -hmm. Or poke. Oh. Or the... Here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this move. You want pressure? There's pressure for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Atari, white, yeah, usually connect, yeah. and now white will get to either, if this is strong enough and white doesn't care about this, white can take sente, if white wants to continue locally, here or here. And this one is actually a really cool shape. Why is this a cool shape for white? black cut off this stone from this stone. No, that's why it's cool. You can try. You want to try? You guys don't believe me. He just told us it doesn't work. So. I know. I've kind of ruined the surprise. <laughs> Go ahead. Show us. We can try. try. He's just checking to see if we're listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If we play this one? Yeah. What if we cross cut? Here or here? Atari. Yeah, there's actually this Atari that's really obnoxious. Atari and just capture. So, yeah. Oops. This actually connects everything here. It's kind of cool. But what did black get if white plays this? Sente. Sente. And this wall before was a line closer, now it's a line further out. That might actually be helpful for black too. Yeah. It might it might help prevent white from attacking it later. Maybe. It depends on the entire board in the situation. Yeah, at this point, I think Buck might probably invest somewhere like around H6 or something. Yeah, yeah but, there. but here's the danger of this, right? If white plays some moves in here. Yeah, that's what I say, is beat white to it. Well, this might end up being Dame, though. Oh. <laughs> so if white has to set up this attack with playing like three Dame moves and then can finally attack this, mm. black has probably taken three moves that are actually worth points. You say if white gets in there first, black can find some bigger moves elsewhere? Yeah, maybe, maybe okay, white wants that, okay, black takes this. <laughs> oh. And now white's in danger of getting cut off, so white needs to play another Dame move. <laughs> maybe this takes two points. Okay, so now black will have time to take more points. White still wants to attack. Okay, well, it's not dead yet, this can still run. But black says, no, I just want more points. <laughs> so this is basically another Dame move. Okay, now we can kill it. <laughs> that took like four moves. Well, at this point, it's not just four. I, I mean, it depends on the board. I mean, we're, we're in, you know, make-believe. But like. there's this fair amount of territory there, too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, this is absolutely big, you know, but so is this. Okay. Okay, let's go over these variations. This is just our final review. I guess I wanted that there. So shoulder hit variations, white options. Be sad. Be sad? Sometimes you just gotta be sad. Sometimes this will be very weak if you don't do this. Normally though, you don't play this to connect over here. Right, that's no, not normally the reason why you play this. If you wanna connect over there, you usually actually play this one. And connect this way, okay? So we can be sad, what does black do? Go up. Uh, there's also another variation with black and play here. It's very similar. Same idea. Okay. So you can do that. White can then do what? If you play this, if you extend this way, that means you usually want to come back this way. 
Okay? So when you're deciding which way to push with this stone, what you're really looking at isn't which direction to push, it's which direction do you want the knight's move. Okay, so you can sort of skip a step in your brain and figure that out that way. Okay, so if we know we want it this side, you know, maybe, uh, maybe this is black's corner, and we know this group needs actually some shape. So we say, okay, no problem, push you that way, I'll come this way, haha, I have my base, I'm strong now. Put that there for added emphasis. Okay? If uh, we go this way, there is, you know, it's, it's, that's fine, it's similar as well. It's, they're both in shape either way. They both, they're both good shapes. <laughs> it's which shape do you want? Do you want black to have the deeper wall, or do you want it to have the little triangle and you have sente? You get to decide. Okay. Uh, other variation? Last variation for shoulder hit? Push up. Black goes down. Down? Yeah. What about that one? Oh, yeah. That's, I think this is the last one we haven't reviewed yet. What does white do? Yes. There is a move here. I am intentionally not showing it to you. <laughs> okay. Because if you don't play it at the appropriate time, you'll end up losing more than you should. <laughs> you'll lose. So I'm showing you this one. This is the most common. Sorry. I would have gotten the other side. Yeah, this is the wrong way. Yeah. Good. Next. Black. And if white, if white doesn't need sente right now, here or here, depending on the shape. They're kind of similar. You play this one more based on what's going on over here. So, but either one. We'll put the stone there. Okay, so. You've learned at least, I hope, six or seven reduction joseki. We're going to stop the lecture at this point. Before you guys play a game, I'd like you guys to try to practice them on a board. Just, you guys all have go stones, more or less, within a three-foot radius of your right arm. <laughs> yeah. Six feet for you, John. Uh, so try to remember them, try to recall them. If once you can play them all, then find a partner and you can play a game. Okay. If anyone and uh, if anyone brought games to review, I'll I'll also review some games for people tonight. Okay. All right. Thank you.